Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to quickly move forward to our next keynote speaker session. Coming forward uh, to share his insights about the new world order public relations in the tech age is Mr. Atul Sharma, Managing Director, Rudifin. Let me welcome him with a huge round of applause. Warm welcome, Mr. Sharma. Thank you so much. It's definitely a pleasure to be here at the IPRCCA Awards. Uh, hi, I'm Atul. Um, I am the Managing Director of Rudofin India. And I also double up as the President of the Public Relations Consultants Association of India. Uh, you know, last year around, I think not around the same time, but I spoke at uh, the annual E4M summit and one of the things, uh, you know, which is strikingly similar is that the topic that I spoke about was uh, pretty much similar, I can say that. And I spoke about the fact that technology is disrupting every industry, including the world of communication. Um, I spoke about trends which came alive strongly around the pandemic and, you know, shaped the future of communications, including analytics, big data, influencer and, and many more. And I think, uh, you know, what st struck me uh, a little while back from, uh, you know, the panel that I was just listening into was the fact that uh, change is the only constant. Uh, and uh, that's something which hasn't changed. And uh, I can definitely say one thing for sure that, uh, uh, you know, while I think in the new year, we see definitely in 2021, things will improve, uh, things will look better. Uh, but uh, it, we will be fortunate, one, if we have a normal year. So coming back, I think, to the topic of the day, which is um, I have to talk about the new world order, public relations in the tech age. And, uh, you know, as a part of that, I have picked up four mega trends from the world of technology that is defining the world of public relations. Why only four? Uh, and I have an interesting story behind each of these four. And why uh, you know 2021 is going to be about these four mega trends but i think uh, that will come in the course of uh, this talk as we go along so the first one is voice uh, we are very very upbeat about voice and that reminds me of an interesting story i was having uh, a conversation with one of my friends a few years back and uh, he's in the banking industry and um, we often spoke about the fact that how I am completely uh, deluged with the pesky calls that I get from uh, banks about credit cards, about home loans, about switching home loans. And uh, I told him that if, you know, if everybody is so unhappy with these calls, then why don't you guys just shut it down? I'm sure you can find newer ways of tapping into new customers. And uh, what I heard from him was that close to 80% of their business still comes from these calls, new business. And that, I think that got me thinking about the fact that there's something about the voice, which is, you know, innately intimate. You want to talk to people, you want to hear people. Uh, you can connect with people when you hear people. Uh, the text doesn't do that magic. And that's why, according to me, I think voice is going to be one of those mega trends which is going to define the world of public relations we already see that uh, you know right now you know uh, your voice assistants on your phones are doing everything for you so right from finding places to ordering food to uh, possibly uh, you know looking out uh, the right words uh, for you they do everything for you and uh, even if I look at voice activated devices like uh, Google Home, Alexa, you know, they're changing our world in a very, very unique way, especially in a country like India, where people uh, can't really, you know, converse uh, that well in English, but can, they can really converse well in their native languages. And uh, so instead of typing keywords in a search engine, um, why can't I just talk to my phone? Why can't I just talk to my uh, voice uh, assistant? And that is something which I see is going to be a big, big game changer. Uh, I think every stat points in that direction. So whether it is, uh, you know, 20% of the searches are happening on uh, voice, uh, whether it is around close to 20 million units, which have been shipped in uh, Q1 of uh, 2019 uh, by, 
you know tech majors like google xiaomi amazon apple uh, i think the fact is that there's already a groundwork which has been laid down for the voice uh, why am i so upbeat about it the reason why i say this is because this trend is really special for us at rudafin um you know a few years back we earned the badge of a alexa skills certified firm placing us in the same league as a big enterprise player like tcs or emphasis or a voice specialist firm like uh, voxogenic or voice first and what we did was we decided to embrace that trend and we created kathy's thoughts on alexa skills uh, kathy who's a global ceo um, she leverages uh, this to communicate to our 1000 plus associates across the globe um, she she shares her uh, you know thoughts she um, she talks about what's happening in the industry she talks about uh, what can be done more from an employee engagement productivity perspective she talks about market trends and it, it's a, it's in a good way to make sure that you know we are as an organization on the same page uh, you want to check it out uh, i think uh, you know just look up uh, alexa actually shout out on alexa kathy's thoughts and you'll get to know a lot much more uh, i definitely feel india is ready for this trend and hence this is going to be that first trend in my book which i feel is going to change the world order the second one i think you see it all around you is video video is ubiquitous if i can use that word and is the mega trend uh, of our era and it is more relevant than ever every brand and uh, corporate should have a video strategy if they aren't already riding this wave because video is how stories are being shared today and i'm sure there it is going to be how stories are going to be shared in the future uh there are uh, you know millennials like mark zuckerberg who have made a lot of money already out of this or people like yang ziming uh, the tiktok fame who is going to make a lot of money out of it uh i think if you want more proof uh, there's a recent research which was done by animoto which says that 90% of the millennials prefer to watch a video rather than to read a newsletter nothing new in that uh, or, and uh, another interesting nugget which uh, Uh, i came across was that uh, you know uh, all of us have, on an average watch around 84 minutes of video every day and in 2021 this is going to climb up up to uh, 100 minutes uh, you don't believe me uh, look up your screen time app i found it pretty hard to believe but uh, actually i think between uh, you know the stuff that i end up watching uh, on various websites on insta on linkedin on twitter that's the kind of video time that i end up spending on and i think the beauty of this medium is that you know it brings a life message effortlessly from financial to medical to highly technical to totally human i think it's it 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 is able to project things through an empathetic lens and uh, you know it engages uh, multiple parts of the brain in a more engaging and memorable way so that's i think one thing which i definitely feel is going to be uh, another trend uh, over the years i think when i started 20 years back we used to do these uh, you know b roll footages we used to do these video news releases and off late we see now that there are brands which are producing videos which are uh, you know which which has that uh, stickiness that a marketing or an advertising content often lacks i've had fortune of working with brands like uh, google ford uh, you know indigo who have who have really rev- leveraged videos as an uh, as a tool for effective storytelling so i think learned a lot mm, very interesting trend and uh, i think very uh, very very um, pretty much which we see happening all around us why is it so special for us um, and i think i revisited this trend earlier in the year when uh, as a company we acquired osmosis films which is uh, which is a creative production house and it you know it specializes in uh, not only brand videos but also in uh, documentaries and including originals like the edge of wonder the human uh, microbiome so the lot of interesting stuff but i think once you start visiting the kind of content that you can do with video you see and you know that this is 
a mega trend which is here to stay and is only going to add to what we are doing from an effective storytelling perspective. The third one, I think it's a tongue twister of sorts. I got introduced to it a few days back, which is the, the digital ecosystem. And for all those on this, uh, on this uh, webcast who are new to, the, uh, to this term or were late to the party, I would say, it's an amalgamation of the physical and the digital world. Uh, and you know the way we look at it, and especially it, you know the last one year, this pandemic has accentuated this trend. Uh, so you know the world of AR, VR, uh, you know AI, all of this has is meshing together, and is creating this new experience wherein brands uh, are engaging with their customers in the physical as well as in the digital space. And uh, we saw this. I think uh, we had a lot of resistance to these. Uh, events which were happening through AR and VR, but I think uh, you know during the Corona times we just all experienced it. We realized that uh, it's not that difficult to uh, to uh, to showcase demo videos to the media, to take influencers through through our product reviews, to to launch a to a launch a new phone on uh, uh, in these tough times through uh, through a uh, you know through these new platforms. It's uh, definitely not difficult, and uh, with seven billion people and uh, with uh, 3.5 billion smartphone users in the world, I just feel that this technology is going to further evolve. This is going to be much more interesting than what we see. Uh, the new technologies, which which were buzzwords, which we possibly didn't understand, we have an experience of it. I can say, I think in this year, I got exposed to AR. I got exposed to VR. We saw it happening in the space that we work in, and that's what makes me feel and believe that this is a new trend which is going to be here to stay. Uh, why do I feel so? Why am I so upbeat about this trend? We, I work with a, I work with a client uh, who goes by the name of Extender, and what they end up doing is they create interactive channels uh, wherein they. You know, we they take the retail experience, and from a retail experience, they just create it in a more engaging, you know, in a delightful short form experience. And they right from augmented packaging to engagement to you know intelligence, they blend it all in. And uh, it's an interesting natural movement for uh, brands and its customers to seamlessly seamlessly integrate uh, with other mediums. Uh, like TV, radio, print, and online ads, and that something is which I find is a really, really interesting trend where which can drive engagement and happier customers. Now, uh, the last trend, uh, the fourth mega trend in, in the scheme of things. So I think a lot is being said about the whole piece of piece. Uh, we speak about paid, we speak about earned, we take we speak about shared. I think the the O which is you know, the, in in my opinion, the big fat O now in the mix, which comes last, uh, but it's definitely not the least. I think that is is going to be another trend in my estimation, which is going to be uh, changing the public relations world. Uh, today, brands, corporates, leaders, even governments have woken up to the value of not only owning this story, but also the medium on which this story is being run. Especially in this cluttered environment, if the uh, brand needs to be seen as leaders, uh, you know, I strongly believe in this that the that you know you can't just provide products and services. You have to offer more than that. If I look at the world around me, uh, brands which do interesting storytelling are selling more than products and services. So what are they selling? They're selling ideas. They're selling inspiration. They're selling hope of a future which is bright and sustainable. Look at Tesla. It has ticked in all these boxes. So you know, Elon Musk offers ideas. He offers inspiration. He offers hope of a definitely a sustainable future, which is a nice and bright. And I think if if around if keeping that in mind, if you can surround your brand with the right content, which is valuable, which is edu educational, which is engaging with a gripping storyline. I think you know it will definitely cut through a lot of clutter. Um, you know, global uh, companies like uh, A16Z, which is one of the most 
um, prolific VC firms, uh, which started their podcast way back in 2014, uh, are actually now building a media company instead of relying on traditional media organizations. Well, it's a, I would say it's it's really stretching it, stretching it to the next uh, uh, completely to the next limit. But uh, you know, if you look at closer home, there are people like uh, Gaurav Munjal of An Academy, who's making all the important announcements on Twitter. It definitely lets him control his narrative. It keeps his personality young and digital friendly. And I think that is what uh, we are seeking, right, in this digital age. Uh, I think with that, uh, those are the four trends which I wanted to share with you. And I feel that uh, I have been able to share with you something different, uh, which you haven't heard in the course of the day. But I think on that note, while I strongly believe that technology will disrupt the world of communication, but the fulcrum of our world is always going to be storytelling. And that is going to always stand the test of the time. It has survived decade, decades, and I don't see a reason why it won't survive in the future. Evergreen campaigns, uh, you know, with stories that touch a deep chord, uh, which have a human connection, will always leave a lasting impression. Uh, yes, technology will disrupt, it will automate some jobs, uh, but I think there will be jobs always in the human realm. So I think each one of us who is worried about the fact that the technology might end up automating their jobs, I would say that, uh, you know, let's focus on skills which will be relevant even five years later. And if I have to focus on that, I would say three skills or three values I would I urge each one of you to be true to is um, stay curious, fire up your creativity and imbibe empathy because those, in my opinion, are the valuable skills that will be required to stay relevant in this changing world order of public relations. So best of luck and thank you so much for having me on this forum. Thank you so much, Mr. Sharma. I think such uh, great words uh, I could hear in the concluding note of yours that we need to build empathy. So thank you so much, Mr. Sharma, for your time, for your insights, and for sharing those nuggets of wisdom with us. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much.